Rob Vollmer, Vice President of Marketing Communications at Helicopter Association International. We're preparing for Heli Expo 2022 here in Dallas, Texas, where we'll welcome over 600 exhibitors and thousands of attendees. Right now, I'm here with Jim Viola, President and CEO of Helicopter Association International. Jim, we're in Dallas. It's been a year since we've had a show. Why is it so important that Heli Expo, that we meet together as a community each and every year? Well, this is an opportunity to see the latest and greatest of the aircraft, the latest and greatest of the supplies and manufacturers of everything you need to run a successful business. That's what HAI was founded on, and we have that commitment to industry to, to bring them all together and make sure that we share best practices, education, whatever they need, HAI wants to provide it, and we shoot for the first place is HAI Heli Expo every year. Jim, what are you most excited about this year? I'm really excited about the just getting back to what I call homecoming, where everybody from the community comes together and you get to see friends from, from way back. I met, just met someone at the uh, Rescue Summit, and uh, I haven't seen him since 1990s, so it's, uh, it's already been great for me. I'm here with Randy Rolls, Chairman of the Board of Helicopter Association International. Hi, Randy. How are you doing today? Good, Rob. So we're here at Heli Expo 2022. It's been two years since we've been together as a community. Are you excited about the show? Absolutely. I mean, Heli Expo, I've been coming to Heli Expo since 1993. So as, as a young person growing in this industry and being able to grow your career and having Heli Expo on an annual basis be a part of that, it is amazing. The people, the educational classes, I mean, what you see on the floor. You know, the vertical growth as it relates to our industry starts right here with Heli Expo. And so for, for myself as an operator, there is no better place to engage the industry than Heli Expo 2022. We're in Dallas, Texas, folks. This is my hometown, and to be here is exciting. Now we're talking to Greg Brown, Director of Education for HAI. Greg, it's been a busy couple of days for you. Tell me what's been going on. Tell me about the education sessions that have been taking place at Heli Expo so far. Rob, we've had a lot of great sessions going on so far. We've had uh, flight in the wire environment, um, flight instructor refresher course, um, part 135 training. We even had one training that, talk, that talks about water survival, where the students learned uh, what they need to do when they, uh, if, if they impact the water, and then actually get into the pool and practice what they've learned. So these have been great uh, uh, classes for the students, and the response has been fantastic. So we're back in person. It's been a two-year gap. What's your favorite part of Heli Expo? My favorite part of Heli Expo is what's going on behind us right now, the Military to, tra to Civilian Transition Forum. These men and women are made, trying to make a decision whether to transition from the military. And as a former military member myself, I was uh, at one point trying to make that decision. So what we do here at Military Civ is provide the information that they need to make an educated decision about transitioning and what the opportunities are available out there in, in the helicopter industry. So I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm happy to help these men and women who served our country to give them the proper information to make that great decision. Well, that takes us to the end of day one of Heli Expo. Join us tomorrow for day two of Heli Expo in three.